Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome to the Ethereum blockchain tutorial part 4. And in this video, we are gonna see the most popular development framework known as Truffle. You know, and this Truffle framework is really, really helpful for developer as well as for the tester to do the development and the testing respectively. So what it does is it's provide the complete framework through which you can register or deploy the contracts over the test networks where your test network connectivity is provided by the Truffle. You know, uh, like I mean, and, and top of that Truffle also provide, you know, the inbuilt test network or I would say the, you know, the, 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 the fork i won't say the fork one but it has you know the inbuilt blockchain which more or less you know behave like a uh, actual blockchain network you know so, so so within a truffle you can interact and you can you know develop you know the smart contract which is nothing but to help you to just make the decentralized application or the distributed application based on the blockchain platform you know so let me just quickly walk you through what we had covered so far in the previous uh, tutorial and what we are going to cover in a in this particular uh, tutorial session okay so uh, this is just a basic concept of the blockchain which i have already covered in my previous videos so what we have covered so far is the installation of ethereum uh, on your local machine then the understanding about the smart contract and its compilation and what all comp what all files it gets created when you compile a smart contract and what is the significance of having those files then we understood about you know the web 3 js which is nothing but a javascript api which helps you to just interact with the ethereum cloud. then what we are going to cover in this video is you know the very first thing which we're going to cover is the installation of truffle then how you can create a project with the truffle then how and uh, and then 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 the pro then the project structure I I'm gonna explain you you because you know the truffle when you when you create a project by using a truffle then it creates some folders and some configuration file that I'll be explaining in this video and in next video I will be covering you know the compilation of solidity contract and deploy and how you can execute the functionality written within this solidity contract or the smart contract so just quickly uh, show you how you can do it you can create any folder at any location on your window machine okay and then you just go to the command prompt of that and the very first thing is which you have to do is npm install truffle so by now if you would have seen my videos you know what is npm npm is a node package manager which used to which which is being used to manage you know the node.js module okay so click on this it will start you know i'm not gonna do this because i have already installed it once that command runs successfully you will have this folder created node modules right and within that node module you will see all these folders and in the win folder dot win folder you will see this truffle <coughs> uh, uh, uh. see this is truffle okay so now once once that run once that command runs successfully then you have to check whether the truffle is installed correctly or not for doing that truffle version so now it seems to be working fine and in this video i am just gonna cover you know the init function and some basic understanding about the truffle framework what it exactly it is what kind of uh, you know the framework it provides what all options are there and maybe in upcoming videos i will try to cover all these commands which is listed over here right so now let me ch let me run the very first command you know that command is truffle then init that's the very first command which you run so what it does is something is wrong already exists at the destination please unbox in an empty folder okay so it means uh, this is what where we just install this so to use that truffle init command what you have to do is you have to create a new folder let me just give the name of first truffle project okay go inside that this is what the error indicates it should be created under the empty folder okay you can see that command again something already exists that's you know please unbox in an empty folder okay so now you created your new folder and here you have to use that command truffle in it so it will download something you know it will it will run something and then it will create folder structure along with few configuration file let me just show you what all those files are 
and in the next video i'll be explaining how you can utilize them to just you know register and deploy the contract over the various uh, test networks built on ethereum side inbuilt and you know the kanache and whatever is available in the market and truffle if truffle provides you know the connectivity to those uh, test networks so see uh, this was the empty folder once you ran that truffle init command and if it has run successfully you will see these well these this thing so how you can verify that you can see the uh, there are three folders and two config file the very first folder is contracts where your contract is going to be resigned and this migration.sol is nothing but it's a solidity smart contract which is which is being you know provided by the in it uh, the truffle framework so no need to worry about that i'll be explaining in upcoming videos then the migration script you have this is the migration script i will be explaining how we you will be utilizing you can see the correlation here with the contracts and this it is just you know requiring is as you know in a java script it's just to import you know the module it's similar to you know the shisha where you want to import a dependency same with the java so in java script we have a require module so here little bit of difference is instead of require we have to put artifacts dot require then the solidity contract name then it is being deployed by this in the next it's exports exports is just to exposing the functionality so this function is going being ex being just exposed so what we are doing is we are using a deploy i'll be explaining what it means is in upcoming videos then deploy then the migration okay so just see this migration so all you have just put it in a variable migration and this is you are using to just deploy the net so don't worry about it if you don't understand it i'll be explaining in my upcoming videos in more detail with the action how does it actually being used by the framework then we have a test folder it is blank now because we haven't write any test script that we will be running that we will be creating in our upcoming videos then we have to these uh, config file if you just open both of these files in notepad plus plus you will see both of them are same okay so let me just quickly compare them it's pretty much same right so what does it mean is uh, why we are having so in, in in windows in the in window environment you know if you will just go back one folder bin this where we have a truffle okay we have a truffle now here and we have a truffle here as well okay so if now if you will use the truffle command just see what happens see what is happening is it's not going to the actual truffle application what it is doing in the same folder it is it is finding this truffle and it is executing that but our intention is not to execute this our intention is to execute this one right so there are two ways to do so but if you are on a linux machine then you will not face this problem because you know it there in every file gets you know utilized by the job by the extension file but in a window it is not used by the extension right the type of that file so you can delete that it is just for you know the uh, the window environment if you are on a linux environment you will not face any issues any such issues right so let me just run this now see now it's working fine so that's the reason there are two config file you are seeing which are pretty much similar to each other so uh, this is just a project structure which you know truffle init command provides to you okay so now what you have to do is and that is what i am going to cover in upcoming videos i have i will be writing a new contract okay i'll be putting in this folder then i will be creating a one migration script to just migrate the new contract which i will be putting then i will use in some set of commands like compile migrate and all those stuff and i will be showing you how you can connect with the already running test network if you have any running test network otherwise we will be using a truffle provided in build blockchain test network to do all this stuff so uh, for this video that that is what i want i, I was uh, that is what i plan to cover in this video and in my upcoming video stay tuned because i will be ex actually utilizing all these folder structure and these script which we uh, which we have seen so far in this video so stay tuned and if you have any fee any feedback or comment or any suggestion please feel free to put in a comment section and if you face any issue in just executing any of these steps which i just mentioned to you uh, then i will be more than happy to help you thanks for watching and and if you really like this video please don't forget to subscribe it and whosoever is interested please share with him so that he can also understand the concept of the blockchain thanks very much